will rock out for a good cause this weekend at a free concert to benefit Fight for Autism, a nonprofit dedicated to helping families living with autism. This morning, Fight for Autism co-founders Johanna Burke and Lori Fiordolino join us along with special guest Jacqueline Larita, one of the original Real Housewives of New Jersey. Welcome to all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Well, we appreciate you being here. All three of you have sons, or have sons on the autism spectrum. But Jacqueline, I wanted to start with you because for people who have watched the show over the years yeah. um, they saw your journey with Nicholas yeah. talk a little bit about when you learned or thought that something might be wrong and and, and how you figured out uh, what 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 it was um, it was really gradual um, I would say between 18 and a half months old to two and a half years it, it didn't happen right away um, little things he lost some of his speech um, stopped singing stopped making eye contact he wouldn't follow a one-step command um, he would make faces sometimes that I didn't understand. Um, he just like lost a lot of skills that he had gained and that's how we sort of, and then I had a nephew about the same age. So every time we would get together every weekend, I would notice the differences in them. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how I saw it. And then I, I did the uh, M chats. Right. And um, we realized there was an issue. And it was a roller coaster of emotions yeah. for you. And your husband oh, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. I think I um, noticed it first. My husband was in denial in the beginning, so it took some time to convince him yeah. um, until I made him take the M chats online. I had him answer the questions very honestly, and he came to terms with it. And then once we were on the both both on the same page, that's that was when you know we made a lot of progress that way. And uh, Johanna, talk a little bit about what Fight for Autism does. So Fight for Autism is a New Jersey 501c3 nonprofit, and what we do is fundraise monies through big events like the concert that we're having tomorrow mm -hmm. in Hawthorne at the Hawthorne Borough Band Shell. And all the money we raise goes back to help local families living with autism, whether they have a child on the spectrum or, or an adult on the spectrum. We help them pay for respite care, iPads, communication devices, therapies, evaluations, sensory equipment, anything that they need, um, advocacy. I also happen to be a special needs attorney. We help them by providing uh, legal advice, how to navigate the system with the school districts to get services. She helped me a lot that way. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. How did, that's how you got involved with them. Yeah, I met her at a, at a charity mm -hmm. event actually, and um, she did, she helped me. Um, she advised me on how to get better, more out of my e IEP for my son to get mm -hmm. him more services. And Lori, your, your son also is on the is on the spectrum. What did you find was the biggest challenge when you learned exactly what was wrong with him as well? It was mostly not knowing what was going to be ahead of us. You know, you hear different stories of, oh, he'll be okay. Um, don't worry about it. Once he hits kindergarten. He'll be in a regular kindergarten and then hearing the other side of he may never speak or he may never develop any type of social skills and you're going to take care of him pretty much for the rest of your life. So it's a roller coaster of emotions. You don't know what's what the future has. And that's how it is in our in our house. We take every day as it comes and we take what is given to us and we are grateful for the blessings that that he has made some tremendous progress. I imagine it helps you all to know that there's other moms going through the same oh, yeah. thing. Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. Absolutely. There, there are thousands of families going through the exact same mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. that we all live with every day. And one of the things that Fight for Autism wants to do is become a platform for autism action in this country. Because in five years, half a million of our kids are going to age out. They're going to turn 21 and there are no services from them. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard to navigate the services. I'm I'm learning it now because unfortunately we had to put Aiden, who's 15, into a group home in July mm. because it was too hard for us to take care of him anymore. He required 24-hour care. And um, I know how to navigate the system, but there are so many other families like ours who need help. Mm -hmm. So that's a big thing that Fight for Autism <clears throat> wants to do. We want to help as many people as we can. And how is Nicholas doing today? He's, he's made such mm -hmm. progress, tremendous progress. Um, I wouldn't say he's conversational, but he can 
asked for all his needs verbally. He's very engaged. He's following commands. He's answering some questions. He's he's funny. He's like a funny <laughs> cat. Yeah. He's, he spells. He's, his memory is insane. The things that he yeah, does blows my mind. But he's a loving kid, and um, yeah. Yeah, we have fun with him. And yeah. just lastly, Lori, for tomorrow, what time is the concert at? This, the concert starts at 4 p.m. But okay. I would suggest getting there maybe around 3 o'clock to get your spot and get all set up. And mm -hmm. there'll be some food trucks and that was fun last some other year. things. Yeah, it's a great time. And you'll be there. And you'll be there. And yeah. any plans to go back to Real Housewives? Uh, uh, not now. Not now. Okay, <laughs> stay tuned. Maybe in the future. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, so much. We really appreciate you coming in. Thank you. The Fight for Autism event, again, is tomorrow. It starts at, uh, the concert starts at 4 o'clock, grounds open at 3 at the Hawthorne Fan Shell, and we'll have all of this information posted on our website as well, cbsnewyork.com. CBS 2 News Saturday morning. We'll be right back.